Sony is set to release three Spider-Man live action films that don't feature Spider-Man in 2024. To no one's surprise, two of these films are literally uncharted, like they are not on a single most anticipated films of 2024 list. Is anybody actually surprised by this? Like anybody? Look at the trailer views for Craven and Madam Web. They were beat by Marvel Studios' What If trailers. On top of this, most people have become aware of the difference between a Marvel Studios and a Marvel film. And to make things even crazier, even MCU films in the last year, outside of Guardians, have struggled. So, is it at all surprising that audiences do not want to spend money and are not looking forward to films that are from the people that brought you Morbius. People that brought you Morbius. Look, this was expected. I don't want to hear anybody being shocked. I don't want to hear anybody saying, but, but, no, there's, there's nothing here. Nobody was excited for this because why would you be? Why would you be excited for either of these films? Even comic book fans comic book nerds me a nerd even i'm like madam web huh all right right like who's it for who are these films for craven you maybe have something for some people but some of these people and i put myself in this camp was saying the same thing about morbius going well you can't screw up morbius all you have to do is tell the morbius story Sony found a way to screw up Morbius, who's a very compelling and simple character in the comics. Well, simple to execute, but has a lot of depth. They found a way. Sony finds a way. It's like Jurassic Park. Life finds a way. Sony finds a way to screw up the most basic thing. I don't know why this is turning into a rant video. It just is. But it's this type of mentality. And I'm not going to just single out Sony here. I'm singling out... Well, I'm not singling anybody out. Toss in Marvel Studios. Toss in the DCEU and DCU and whatever else in here. People, I think, are getting sick of third, fourth tier characters getting this treatment. And on top of this, just looking bad. Like, these films just look bad. And that's a problem. So, is this surprising? No. It's actually kind of eye-opening that people are waking up to knowing that there's a difference between man i might want to see this because it's going to be important for marvel and spider-man and oh this is a lie i ain't falling for this one again